Finally, another key aspect of sizing related to both the wings and the vertical and horizontal tail is control surface sizing. Now we're going to talk next time in much more detail about the role of the control surfaces and how they work together to maneuver an aircraft, but we'll just look at their sizing today. There's three primary surfaces we're really concerned with. So the ailerons, which allow the airplane to roll, the elevator, which allow the airplane to pitch, and the rudder, which allows the airplane to yaw. The rudder is located on the vertical tail. The elevators are located on the horizontal tail and the ailerons are located on the wings. And I'll present rough sizing estimates for each of these. So let's start with the ailerons. Typically these extend from about 50% to 90% span on the wings. And again, once again, there's some empirical data in Raymer um, that gives an idea of how this varies. And I'll just sketch it out here, but you can look it up in the excerpt or in the PDF version of the slides. So this is aileron cord over wing cord. And this is total aileron span. over the wingspan. And this is 1, this is 0 0.1, 0 0.35. And you get a slightly fuzzy curve, but that more or less looks like this. And just to help sketch out exactly what we're talking about, this is a top-down view of the fuselage. There are the wings. There's the horizontal tail and the vertical tail. The ailerons are here. Roughly. Now, for both the rudder and the elevator, we can use similar guidelines. These generally begin at the side of the fuselage. And extend to between 90 and 100 percent of the tail span. And their cordwise extent is usually 25 to 50 percent. So if I take the same sketch The horizontal tail will have elevators like this, and a side view of just the back region here with the vertical tail, you'd have something that looks like that. Now, these control services are usually tapered, they're not constant cord. In order to have the same ratio um, as the wing or tail. So basically we maintain 
a constant percent chord along the span, even if the wing is tapered and its chord is varying. Next time, we'll talk in much more detail about control surfaces and how they're used to maneuver the aircraft.